she's got I it. Have it. I've got it. We've got to talk about it. We've got to talk about it. It's really serious. We're in big trouble. First of all, I'd just like to fucking pee it. PSA? I did it. The first one that came up my mouth. Did you say? Oh, right, okay. So, this bag of pasta <laughs> is because no one carries change anymore. She didn't even notice as well, that's what's worrying. I didn't. And this is the thing, right, listen, we did our episode on Monday. Within the day, our mothers had messaged us Both individually. Mothers. And been like too much swearing. G's mum was like, I'm watching the YouTube, a lot of swearing. And my mum sent me a message being like, stop with the effing on the show. So anyway, then we thought we've got to nip it in the bud. Because also we do a radio show and we don't swear. And we want to be on TV. <laughs> no, Ali did swear. When? The other day. Oh my God, no. Wait, what did you say again? I said dick shaped waffles. She said dick on the radio. <laughs> no, and also do you know what? In the morning. Do you know what's funny as well? Is Where's that, the jar? Um, Right, so we've got a swear jar. Wait, I, have you got a Sharpie? Sharpie's pushing it. I've got a biro. Well, I was just thinking I kind of want to put an A on it. Oh, oh I do. Is that a Sharpie? Oh my God, you do. <gasps> Here we go. Right, so this is the swear jar. And so what... Ali, this is Ali's because I just think we need to know at I the end of the gonna season. It's going to be you. Series? The season. Here it's going to be you. With the swearing? Yeah. Well, you've just kicked us off quite strong there. <laughs> is that 50p then? Yeah, I think 50. That will really put us off. And what are we going to use this money for? Well, it depends how much we swear. It will be a lot. I really think we've got to get a lid on it though. We've got to put a lid. It's not nice. Because also, listen, if we want to be presenting I'm a celebrity, Ergo, Ant and Deck. You know, ergo. Ergo. Oh, God. If we want to be presenting, we're trying to be less posh, we're trying to swear less. We're, trying to be less we're basically posh. trying to not be ourselves. No, we want to be ourselves. Just it's so hard because I've thinking this recently. People just box you constantly. Yeah, but babe. And it's like you can't be a bit of everything. So like I can't speak how I speak, but also not be posh because I'm not. Like I didn't grow up posh. Yeah. But I just speak well. My dad has this amazing story, right? My dad has a proper strong Gloucester accent. Really? From birth. Like my whole family speak like this. Proper Gloucester. My mum's a scouser. He got to about like 25, 26, and he was really making like gains in his career. He works in the pub trade yeah anyway he had this kind of like old boss who was a proper like old Etonian really posh and he went to him one day and he was like ah oh, Nigel I've been going for all these jobs and, and everyone says I'm great and I've got the potential and I I could do it but they're not giving me the jobs I'm not getting the roles and Nigel so said to him it'll be your accent old boy so my dad, Why? fully, don't know, I think back then maybe like the strong regional accents, I think it was all clipped, like BBC, my dad's ancient, so it was like quite a while ago. Mm. It was all like, even to understand him, like he had a really thick Gloucester accent. So he changed his accent. So now how does he speak? Like me. You're lying! I Bible. So you sit him next to his sister, his sister goes, well he fucking forgot where he come from. Put that in the jar. <laughs> Does it count when you're speaking as someone else? It counts. All of it counts, because we couldn't say that on ITV, I could tell ah! you. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Uh, so frustrating, not to you. So she says he forgot where he came from. Yeah, because my dad speaks so well because he fully changed his accent for work. And now he's so well spoken. It's hilarious. But and like, then he passed that, that on to me. Do you think that for real, like he actually, or he tries every day? I mean, the man's 80. It must have sunk in by now. If he's still That's trying, insane. let it go. Let it go. He doesn't even work anymore. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So anyway, but I'm anyway, bored we're... of being in a box. I don't mind being in a box, but I don't like when the box is... Um... No, you're going to have to keep that out. I don't know why you're pulling it away. Right, listen. Well, I'm going to move your DI, sir, because it's May, babe. <laughs> the next going? person who gets in your car is going to be like, um, is this a snack? Like, were you hungry? Are you okay? <gasps> Straight to Gales, please. Straight. So, no, we can't be going. Oh, my God. Also, did you see... Do you say we can't be going? No, of course we can, I'm joking. Oh my gosh, you had a heart attack. <laughs> I honestly walked here up the hill and I thought, I'm ravenous and if I could just get a coffee You're now. ravenous! I've been up since... It's 8.30. What time do you eat breakfast? 11. Right, so we've got to talk about the hate first. We've got to talk hate about Hate crimes! It. I feel like it's bothering you a bit, but No, it's I not bothering me. It. I love a bit of troll -a -lol, -a lol The best comment, right? No, no, no. Have you seen the one about Pretty Patel? Yeah. <laughs> Iconic. No, that is bad. Can we get pictures of Right, listen. Lot, so what happened was we put up this video of us saying, uh, to be fair. No, we sound like wankers in it, to be fair. To, we sound... <laughs> no! 
swear words. I swear words. I told you it'd be you. If you can't say it on ITV, it's you a swear You can't say it in the car. Yeah. Okay. We put up this video of me going, oh, I'd love a hot chocky. It's here. I'd love a hot chocky, but it has to be dark because I only pound. do dark hot. That's actually a pound 50 now. Fuck me. Why are you timing well, it? Like... get another one in there. You just said fuck me. Oh That's my three. Gosh. One, two, three. You need one because you said it. Okay. So you just don't mind me. So we put up this video of me going, I'll just I'll just put it in in here. What do you I need? can have like a hot chockey. Oh gorgeous. I know where we can go. Great! Okay, wait there. But yeah. do they have dark hot chocolate? Because I only drink dark hot chocolate, don't know if you know. Probably not because that just sounds poncy as fuck. Yeah, but I hate milk chocolate. Oh, no, well, I don't know. Good. What do you need? A Gales? Yeah, Gales. Okay, well, let's do that then. The place is called Another Brother, but I can't guarantee they're going to do dark hot chocolate because I don't think that's normal. The comment section is actually, I've actually had to delete some stuff. Did you? Babe, I deleted loads because I thought you'd see it and cry. What? I know I can handle it. No, what was it? No, she can't handle it because she was like, it was like. The only thing I can't handle is someone called me fat. Because that's a soft spot for oh, me. Oh, no, it wasn't any of that. Oh, I can handle being called like, posh. It Tory scum. I wish I was... This is the thing that... I it... obviously don't vote Tory. What's wrong with that? Exactly. Everyone? And then there was one that was like, I wish I could go back to the person I was before watching these stupid, silly bitches. <laughs> This one, though, is the best. The daughters of Pretty Patel and Matt Hancock going for a No, hot because shot. I'm Matt Hancock, and that is not fair. Do not look like Matt Hancock. <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> Loads of people have been like, is That's this really a skit good. or not? Raw. One with that hat sounds like Sophie Habu. That's got her more riled up more than anything. That did raw me up a bit. Someone has taken pity on us and said, Gales, when you have canoops on High Street Ken, come on now. Yeah, so then they're also a bit posh. Yeah. Good, nice. Um, Ponzi, so posh. Ra, ra, ra. Ra, 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 ra. I've been liking all the nice ones. It, it's hilarious. Is it like only Tories drink dark hot chocolate? Is that the thing? I guess, but I think that's hysterical. But also, the people commenting this, like the username is Taurus Communist. Do you know what I mean? Like, this made me lol. They defo live in Canterbury. <laughs> Canterbury posh? <laughs> is Canterbury posh? I've deleted loads, really, I've deleted really? loads. Really? Yeah. Don't delete them. Well, because I think they're hysterical. I think just don't delete them because, you know, if people want to be mean to us, people want to be mean said. to us. That's what we all said. And it's fine, it's funny. I just thought that you would care. That was the I thing. I don't care because I think, like, everything we put up, I stand by what I said in that video. I think it's psychotic that you like dark hot chocolate. And if I said it with a good accent, I'm sorry. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what else and to do that. about that. Ladies and gentlemen, is the headline. Is the morning Gales, 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 we love posh hot chocolate. <laughs> it's so silly. I think it's so funny. Imagine commenting the other way round. Like what, if you like were you, like... You labour scum. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I'd rather be called labour scum than Tory ponces. What is it? What's yeah, the word? Tory... Is it ponces? Yeah, is ponces. 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 So funny. Listen, Mercury's in retrograde, okay? Okay, because there is something going no, no, on. No, no. I could oh. not sleep last night. So Mercury in retrograde is actually meant to really mess with everything. Yeah, everything and, feels upside down, a lot to of, front, um, tipsy turvy. Don't run over that girl. No, it's techie things, especially in Mercury retrograde, go really wrong. So like emails won't send, people's alarms don't go off, or they miss their alarms. Like, do you know what I mean? Like things really? that are like technical all go really wrong. Apparently. Interesting. Yeah. No, something's definitely no, going on. It's I couldn't just sleep been last up night. in the air. Something's in the air. And every time. Mercury's in retrograde. I just feel like my emotions are like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. No, no. This was, well, now I know what happened well, to me on Tuesday. And I was going to say, great leggings. Where are they? Yeah, from? they're nice. They're Gymshark. They're their new ones that are trying to be like Lulu's. Let's talk about it. Come on. So. we got to talk about as everyone it. Everyone knows I'm doing my spin instructor training, which has been a lot more intense than I thought it would be. Like, I thought it would be hard, but I didn't think it would bring up like proper emotions. Yeah. I've just never really like, because I'm so delusional in most of my life, but like my ability. <laughs> yeah. I've never properly, properly experienced imposter syndrome. Like, don't get me wrong, I felt like a fish out of water before, but I've never really felt like I can't do this and yeah, I fine. don't belong here and like really like aggressive, like inner self talk. Fine. When I get I've up on that, that bike, either. 
it is so overwhelming like I've got nothing but sympathy for people that have to battle that every day because that is so hardcore anyway I had to do two tracks just two it's fucking spin why are you crying about spin put the pasta in the jar babe this is the problem is that we don't even realize and when my mum said it, I was like I don't even think it's that much no that's really bad and then I actually went through my own filtered comments and every single one is like people would actually watch you if you didn't have such a foul mouth Oh, quite bad vibes considering I'm that I really, want people to watch me for a living. I'm really you know? getting us some good money here. We got to well, listen by okay, by the end of the season. Could buy Gales already. Yeah, literally. But well, we're not using it for that. No. We're gonna wait. Yeah. And we're gonna buy something mega. Yeah, good. So Very you cappuccino. got on the bike and you and you had a little cry. And nobody said got off the bike and they said everyone watching me judging me. Um, how did you feel? And I just. And you know when you sob in an environment where you're not really meant to sob? You were on the bike. I did, like I was on the bike and I was kind of trying not to, like half oh, laughing. Babe. And then it just came oh, out and I babe. sobbed. I was like, I just think, I feel like I just can't. Oh, it was babe. so embarrassing. It was horrible. I mean, they were amazing, really kind. They were like, we believe in you, you can do it, X, Y, Z. But then I was like, I think I needed to hit that rock bottom with it because I think I'd been holding that up here. You know when you're, you know when you're yes, like got you something like you need to cry it about in. and it's like all yes. the way here. It was just gonna come out. But now I blame Mercury. But how many people? And not how much of a wet wipe I am. How many people were in the room? Normally there's six of us on Academy, but there was only four. Oh babe, come and on. We then all cried three in front people of judging me. But it's more okay, the so fact seven. that you're kind of meant to be playing this role of like, I'm gonna egg you on, I'm gonna make you feel good about okay. yourself, and I'm ready to go, like please sign me up, I'm ready to go, and then I'm there sobbing. It's it. called Academy for a reason. Yeah. Number one. Number two, everyone cries. Yeah, that's true. And number three, oh look at that beautiful, stunning spot parking space. Oh wow. Right, let's go. Let's go! I think that girl's a famous influencer called Emma Noodle. That uh, girl? Don't know who she stare. is. Sorry, I've got to put the phone over. Oh! Just to inject some joy into the day. Yeah, she's Irish, I think. How do you Unless even it just know really that? Looks like that girl, her. Noodle, is that her real I last name? So. Oh, I don't know. I think she does, she started off doing like corporate, like how to dress for work and now she just does everything. She's like fashion. If you had a horse, what would you call it? Babe, That's so, ob so obvious. Yeah, I know. She's not gonna be, look we're, look, we're in the car, don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget, don't forget. Cheers. Cheers. If I had a horse, I'm allergic, so I just wouldn't. If you. <laughs> No, go on. If you had a horse, what would you call I'm it? I'm so severely allergic to horses. Because you can see my face when I'm around a horse. Really? Yeah, it's so bad. If I ever wanted to like mess with you, I would um, put a horse hair in your bed. I'm sounding a bit Oxford and Cambridge there. Horse <gasps> head in horse. my bed. Horse hair. Oh. Horse head! <gasps> How I thought you said horse dead. head! I was like, stop it now. You don't need to shag pigs as well. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's just not. Is that her real name, Emma, Emma Noodle? Sorry, I can't. No, do you want me to go and ask her? If that's her real name. Why are you thinking like... about horses? Do you want one? Because because I was thinking how I lost fifteen pounds on the Grand National. Oh, uh, we've had a race horse, not a pet horse. Oh, Christ, keep up. Um, I'd call it like I don't know. I'd call it my face. Pig. Pig. Something funny like pig or sheep or something. Okay. Quite Donkey. Good. And then oh, I want it to win, but I'd call it like, yeah, I'd or call like it... Donkey Kong. Come on, Donkey Kong! Bucking Bronco. Bucking Bronco. I'd call mine my face. Because then when you shout, you'd be like, come on, my face! I oh, such a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I set it up so well as well? Took us about. Come on, my face! <laughs> <laughs> Took about three minutes to get to, to, get to your punchline, which you were desperate for. How long ago did you think of it? So good. <laughs> Come on, my face. Come on. That's a good one. That's good. <laughs> I think that is so funny. <laughs> Ali, no. You can't think that's that funny. <laughs> 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 it's not even my joke, that's the thing. Someone told Raw's me that I joke. thought, yeah, I thought, yeah, Raw's joke, obs. And I thought, tiny that shorts. Hysterical. Oh, yeah, you sexy boy. Tiny, tiny shorts. You can't objectify men like that. What's wrong with saying he's got a nice ass? So, I, my, um, my ear was broken this week. Oh, babe, that is really bad. So, you've had a bad week? So, woke up on Monday, my ear was broken. Thought, mm. can't hear out of my left ear. 
And I thought it was a bit gags for like two hours. And then I was like, it's all I can think about. And then on Tuesday, it still hadn't gone away. Well, I went to the pharmacy after Riverside, bought these, and the woman and was, was like- honestly in the radio like this. I can't think about anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to the pharmacy and she was like, uh, is it painful? And I was like, no, it's just feeling really weird. She was like, take these three times a day for five days. If it's not bad, go to the doctor. You know what I mean? When they just like really couldn't give, give her. I think we have to replace it because I can't not say it. No, don't replace it. I hate it when people have kids and then they start saying silly words in place of swear words. True. I hate that. No, we could say like, no. Okay, well then I went home and I went on Google, 12 ways- Never do it! No, no, babe. It was actually quite comical and I almost should have filmed myself because it was 12 ways to unblock water from- Then I realized it was water. From 12... the shower? Don't... You've been swimming? No, everyone asked me, have I been swimming? Do I look like I go swimming on a regular? Where would I go swimming? Where? Well, you kind of do actually, you're so thin. I love swimming. I love swimming too. Actually, funny you should say that because I was going to join the gym that has a pool. I went to look around and there was a plaster on the floor and I was like, I can't be here. I have to leave. I must leave. That gives me the willies. I've got a thing about feet anyway. I hate, it's making me feel sick. The plaster on the floor. <laughs> that's actually making me feel Not the crazy. fact that people piss in it. Yeah, that's gross too. Anyway, 12 ways to unblock water from your ear. I got the hair dryer going. No, I had no. A candle. It was like, put a candle. An ear heat. candle, not no, an no, no. candle. Candle underneath, and then the heat will evaporate from inside. Obviously, it didn't work. Hit myself in the head so many times on the other side. I honestly then sort of like thought I was going to black out. Oh my goodness. And I was home alone, and I was like, oh, if someone could just help me, help me. Oh, I did everything, everything. Didn't work. Anyway, bought the ear So you didn't just take her eardrops? Didn't think that well, might did be a good that, thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, so and now yeah. it's gone. Did it feel now like heaven gone. when it released? Well, no, because I think I was asleep, and that's really devastating. Because it would have been better than an orgasm, honestly. Yeah, you would have been like this. Oh. Oh, Jack, yesterday, my friend Jack, who G thinks it's weird that we're friends because... I don't think it's... I never said I think it's weird that you're friends. No, I, I have funny. male friends. I don't think it's weird. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, you have male friends, but you wouldn't hang out with them. Like, he came around to mine for dinner last night when we were at the Chels. The Chels? <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll just pick up on that. Sorry, what does that mean? The Chelsea-Brentford game where they got murked. Chelsea football? Yeah. Murked. So many things I'm not understanding. You could honestly be speaking Mandarin. <laughs> At the Chelsea football game, right? Against Brentford. And they, they got, got beaten. Badly. Oh dear, against Brentford. That's not good, is it? Babe, Chelsea are like about to be relegated. I think it would be hysterical. I actually said Come to Come on the Blues. I think it's so funny. Can you imagine if Chelsea, who once won the Champions League, got relegated? Why are they so bad? I don't know. And it's quite shocking. And it's actually just quite depressing And Raw like, loves them. Obsessed. Obsessed. Dear. Anyway. I don't think it's weird that you're friends with Jack. Yeah, but he came around for dinner last night when I like was at the Chelsea way. game and I thought, God, G. I and with Jack. I think G. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Quickie in the bathroom. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> That's a bad habit. I think we should get a separate jar for that. If you want to talk about bad habits, we've got to talk. My bad habits lead to late nights and then alone what's my bad habit then you on. lick your lips every three seconds i do and my friend messaged me <laughs> after the first um saying why did she lick her lips like, so much i'm sorry i've Mortified. never ever ever seen someone lick their lips so many times in half an hour as she does stop and then when you look when you notice it it's all you can see when you go watch that first video all you will see is you mortifying your it's hysterical well i can't do it now <laughs> do you, but like you've got the <laughs> Just a sexual person. I'm just like uh, smacking away. Gross. Len Goodman died. I know. Seven. And he's younger than your dad. Oh, savage. I was thinking. Wait, but something killed him, didn't it? I don't think it was just no, old no, age. He died of old age. No, cancer. What? I'm sure he had cancer. I'm sure I read, you know, when they say a long battle with. No, I don't what think so. What will they so. say about me? A long battle with coffee addiction. Oh, you're right. Bone cancer. Yeah, babe. Oh, I don't think he just sad. died. Oh, that's sad. Seven! My ear was broken. Mercury's been in retrograde. And then Goodman died. So and then Goodman died. And she cried on the bike. I sobbed. I've got my self confidence is on the fucking. Right, how are we going to get a. My self confidence is on the floor. <sighs> We're never gonna get a job in TV. This is the sad thing. No, we are. Listen, I've always been told I swear a lot. Me too. That's and, like the one thing. And I pick think up. because I swear in front of my parents, I'm Me really too. bad at Me too. filtering it. it. Me yeah. Too. Because at home, I just swear like we all swear. I'm oh my god! Oh my god! Tell me. Can't believe I haven't told you this. I've Tell made, me. I've made our baby. 
I've mashed our faces no. and made our baby and it is Stop. ugly. Ugly. Sadly, we could never have a child together. It's very devastating. But more well, sadly, we couldn't anyway. More really. problematically, Rory and my baby is honestly, I'd flush it down the loo. It is so ugly. It's a problem. Flush it down the loo! It's so sweet. Is that us or you and Raw? Me and Raw. Wait, why is it so white? No, it looks awful. It's awful. Why has it got none of your Asian genes? Exactly. That's and exact. also, why has it got like fallow, sallow skin? Who's spending away on the Amex whilst you're here? Not. <laughs> Not me. Oh my god. Oh. I've been trying to cancel this. Right, did you ever watch that documentary called Sea Spiracy? I watched Cowspiracy. Right, there's one which called Which made me vegan, took about, away two years of my life. About how basically we're gonna die if the oceans die. Which we will. And there's this company called Sea Shepherd. Obviously, I got sucked in. Started no, Al, you gave them money. <laughs> every month, and I can't cancel it. £8.86 every month. Oh my gosh, that's a full meal at Wagamama's. I can't, I can't. But listen, I feel like I'm doing good for the You're world. You're not. Do you think? That is some hoaxy doxy. That's not good. They're definitely living it I've up. I've emailed them so many times. They're like, not doing anything for the sea. They're not. Do you know, babe, I follow their Instagram. They're and not. they like catch whale poachers and stuff. Oh. I've got such baby you fever. You are I know, it's really problematic. Because that like, kid was not cute. Listen, that's why I've started making babies on my app. So what do we look like then? So that's my, my what, app. This is what my other option. Baby app? That's my, me and Rory part two. Very sweet. What's your problem? What do you want it to look like? Bad. I think it's bad. Right, this is us. I can't see. Oh my gosh, the wispy hair, does that come from me? Yeah, bad. Poor thing. And also, I used the best picture of you I could find. And, and the best picture of me I could find. And it's still not 10 out of 10, which is weird because we are both 10 out of 10s. Mm -mm. And that's a rule. What? 10 out of 10s yeah, don't have 10 out of 10s it's, kids. It's, it's devastating. Like, look and at that. That is true. Well, actually, I mean, Abby Clancy and Peter Crouch's kids. Their which, kids are gorgeous, and Peter Crouch is not a 10 out of 10. That's God true. love him. That he's a funny true. man, and he's a gorgeous, kind man, but he's not, like, necessarily a 10 out of 10. That's true. 10 out of 10s never make a 10 out of 10. No, never. Because you need an eclectic mix of genes. God, the maths is all wrong. Do you look more like your mum or your dad? I don't look like anyone. I really don't look like I anyone. I don't look like anyone. I'm such an individual. <laughs> don't look like anyone. <laughs> Nobody looks like me. The... Nobody's as gorgeous as me. God, I'm good looking. God, I'm so good looking. Meg just got this mirror out to remind myself how good looking I am. God, I'm good looking. No one looks like me. <laughs> if you stood you me, and your sister have similarities, we it's don't for look sure. At all alike. I think you have some. Only because we've got the same hair colour and the same skin colour. Actually, if you look at our features, we look like two different. We could be from two different parents. Mm. And if you put me in the middle of my my mum and my dad, honestly, there's nothing that ties me to either of them. Not other, one thing. Other than the fact that my, I look like my mother's daughter because of our colouring. But if you remove the colouring, feet like feature wise, we I don't look anything like them. It's quite bizarre. How bizarre? Do you look <laughs> like your parents? Um, yeah, I think in like certain lights, people say I look really like my mum, but I think actually it's just our mannerisms. Exactly. I don't actually think our exactly. features are the same. Exactly. But actually I do look like my dad. Like I think I've got my dad's... Do you know what the saddest thing is? Both my parents have really skinny legs and I've honestly got thighs the size of a country. Babe, don't say that. No, you haven't. I do. I've got huge thighs. Yeah, but you've got muscles. Mm, not at the moment, I don't. Look, anyway, this is the baby. Okay, well, let's not do that then. Minus the hair, it's actually okay. It looks a bit creepy. <laughs> Babies are a bit creepy. No, I actually they? think I've got bad baby making genes. Because the problem is I've got too much in Why are you so broody then? I don't know, it's really bad. Every time... <sighs> I, just, I can imagine babe. you having a baby before you get like married or anything. Oh, for sure, I would do that. I don't care, but I don't actually... Listen, I want a baby, a real... Fr I want a maybe six-month-old baby for two days. And then I want that. And then I'll be, and then I'll have had my fix. You need the to just do a bit is, of babysitting. No, I just need to have a friend that has a baby. Yeah. Uh, that any will on the cards? really cure me. No, and it's a problem. Yeah, I don't think I have any on the cards. But they have to be adorable, and I'm not. I'm talking six months max. Once they start crawling, no thanks. No, no, no. My goddaughter is now. Oh my god, she five four. Anyway, she's super cute at the moment. Because she's like got like a real personality and she's really coming into no, herself. Sorry. But four she's years still old. really cute and doesn't... Four years old. No, yeah. babe. Seven's horrible. Okay, four yeah. is great. Oh, no, seven. Four, five, six, you're fine. You get to seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, ten, oh my eleven. God. No, 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 no. Real hardcore stuff they're going through. No, no. Oh, and the dogs as well. God, I just. Why don't you just get a dog? Maybe that will sort it. Yeah, that's what precisely. That is the plan to get a dog, miniature dash and golden. 
call it some really stupid name like <sighs> Ziggy. I wanted to call my son Ziggy, but obviously that got hardcore vetoed. That was so boring. Isn't he just? Mm. And I was like, well, then you suggest the name. He was like, Freddy. Oh, God, you are honestly devoid of personality. <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk a little bit more about being out of your comfort zone? I'd love for to do that because I actually went to a spin class myself this week and she was talking about how we need to get out of our way. Mm. We need, actually, this is so for real i'm really standing in my own way you need to get out of your own way babe she yeah. was so inspiring i love her her name's christina she works at cycle if you can never go to her class go i want to be inspiring and i want people she... to say oh, i went to g's class and it was so Precisely. inspiring but listen i actually think that that's a good example it's actually that's a good story to tell every class i say guys i used to cry on the bike and it's okay no not i used to cry one time i felt like i couldn't do this what i'm doing right here today mm. the thing that i'm actually doing i thought i couldn't do yeah and if that's not proof that when you doubt yourself actually you can't do when you doubt yourself you can't do it yeah that is true when you think you can do it you, you can will, do, it. You do it you'll find a way to do it and also it is uncomfortable learning new skills especially at like an older age like skiing even yeah, skiing, like yeah. I went skiing but for the first a bit time. It's like you feel pressure to do it and do it good first time. But then you're watching everyone else and you're like, look how easy they make it. And it's the same with any new skill because someone who can do it, you're watching them and you're thinking, look that's how good feel, you are. That's exactly how I'm feeling about DJing at the moment. About DJing. Yeah. Because I look at people and I just think, God, you're actually effortless, masterful. I'm so in awe of you. But and when you're an, finding something so, so difficult, difficult, I get it. That, and also something that should be easy, like it's just DJ, it's just spin. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's just, it's it's easy. It's, it's you just put your mind to it and you do it. But actually, if you're giving yourself that mental block, you won't be able to do it because it's a new skill, and new skills take time to learn. You've got to get out of your own way. You've got to get out of your own way and you've got to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to just feel like comfortable being uncomfortable. That's what I'm really learning. Yes, that's exactly Because it. it's the discomfort that's stopping me. It's the like, oh, I'm not good. I want to stop. Like, it's that. And I don't know what that is. Like, why am I so not just like a kid? You're, you're not wanting to do it because you feel uncomfortable and then you think, I want to stop. Yeah. Okay, well, babe, that's like anything. That's like going to the gym. Exactly. But it's like, but it like, you know, when you watch young kids try new things, they just try, they fall over, they get back up. They're not embarrassed. They're not uncomfortable yeah. in being bad. They're yeah. just like, try Let's it. Let's do it. And you need to get back into that like playful space, I think, in anything you want to do because anything new is uncomfortable. Like it is, it just is. A new job, being in a new relationship, like even having new feelings. Like there's so many different stages of life, especially I think like in your 20s and 30s when you haven't experienced everything. That it's going to feel uncomfortable. This is why people don't change. Right, I was talking to Raw, he had, he went to the game last night with one of their like really old family friends who has like a fine job, but isn't like, you know, obsessed with his life kind mm. of thing. Like he just gets by every day and he's comfortable. It's too comfortable. Everything's comfortable. He works in the hotel industry. He could go and work in like the Maldives or Australia. He could go and have an amazing life. And I said to Raw, when you're too used to being comfortable every day, it then feels like the biggest hill to climb mm. ever to even get a millimeter out of your comfort zone. The more uncomfortable and more regularly you feel uncomfortable the mm. better because then it's like you feel uncomfortable all the time it's such a hard balance as well with being comfortable because there's a difference between being comfortable and being like unhappy do you know what i mean because it's not like yes, when you're in a space yes. of like feeling unhappy you you're more likely to like push yourself and to be like no i need to make a change whereas when you're comfortable and you're kind of like i'm fine I'm happy, could I be happier? Yeah, yeah, yeah but could yeah, I be yeah, sadder? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then like, where's the urge? Yeah. Like, where's the urge coming from? Yeah. Because you're, you're comfortable. It is really hard and like, don't get me wrong, I did want to give up on Tuesday, but now I know that it's just Mercury, I feel great again. <laughs> get me back on that bike. So silly, it's it just spin. It is Mercury and it is just spin. It's just spin. This woman, Christine, has just had a baby and she said something at the end. She was like, just hold your heart and hold your belly. You don't need to tuck it in. Just hold it. Yeah. And I very thought, yogic. God, yeah. Mm. So true. Love a bit of yoga. Oh, I wish I loved yoga. I really do, because I think it would give me some zen. Some real zen that is How's hard to come by. How's your meditating going? Not great. Oh dear. Not great. It's not coming. 
and it's not going. But you know? how's your DJing? Are you like feeling meditative when so you're practicing listen. or are you having to think too much? No, babe, listen, and I, this is what I think is fascinating. Okay, right? I am going to start a new thing. Every time I lick my lips or you say listen, we might have to do something else because, oh my gosh, we're so annoying. I've got this new app called Oath. Sorry, I just need to tell you this. Take a moment to practice affirmations and get your day started with a positive mindset. Right, go on then. I stay focused on my vision and pursue my daily work with passion. I never pursue my daily work with passion. We, we don't want, get paid. So we want this work. to be our daily work. Yeah, God willing. We want this to be our daily work. So we're God staying willing. Focused. 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 And we're executing with passion. And we're not swearing. What were you going to tell me about your DJing? Two things. First of all, I think it's fascinating how different things make different people feel good because I think it's interesting when sometimes you see celebrities being like, yeah, I feel really good when I take a long bath and I'm like, I feel like I'm dripping in sweat when I take a long <laughs> bath, you know? I love a long bath. And then, so yes, I was like in a bit of a funk. I just couldn't get out of my funk. And I had therapy yesterday morning and that, oh, wow, Heavy. over the edge. Yeah. Stop! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Anyway, cried. Yeah, cried. It was so Got to the bottom of something. Yeah, it was good. so good. It was so good. Oh my um, God, do you feel better? Yeah, lighter. Yeah. Bit yeah. funky though. Yeah, a bit funky. Had and like, like the whole it. day then just was like, no. And about three o'clock I was like, I need to do something to get myself. So I just turned on my decks and I just started DJing. And my mood, like then I just I'm boxed. sorry, listen to that sentence, say it one more time. I girl. turned on my decks and I started DJing. I baby. love it! Go but on, you know girl. what I just thought? Some people would need to do yoga. But I need to listen to house music and dance in my bedroom. And that's fine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and like, that's you've got to find the thing that works for also, you. Also, ecstatic dance is a oh. form of meditation, and that's just what you're doing. It is honestly euphoric. Yeah, good. Then my DJ teacher. I'm worried you might strangle yourself. How did she die? Death by feather boa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jack was like, it's so cringe that you have a DJ teacher. And I was like, why is that cringe? I'm learning something from someone who has a skill. It's like saying it's cringe to have a ski instructor. It's not cringe to have a ski instructor. Yeah, also, like, all of these stereotypes like posh girl learns to DJ like who cares exactly. Le like have right. a teacher but do it well if you're gonna do it and this is the thing about hate I don't care because I don't care what if you want to call me a posh girl with a DJ teacher it's fine <laughs> I am I am we'll get it printed on a I team. know what I am and I'm I am comfortable yeah, with that and, and that's I think all that matters. you're not comfortable with it yeah and that's a problem for you yeah um, so like, you sounds like a you problem do you yeah. know what I mean yeah 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 and because um, also who are you harming at your DJ teacher Precisely. Session. We're Precisely. not hurting anyone. You're just trying to bring music to the masses. Precisely. Anyway, he was like... House music to the masses. I said to him, I want to DJ in a club by the end of the year. And he was like, oh, well, I think you could do it before then. We can make that happen. Fast track. If I actually get my head down and practice every single day, he was like, maybe by July. You better be there, babe. And I Are you joking? Thinking, I'll be front row. I'll be behind. I want to be behind yeah, the yeah, decks. Odds, I want to be like odds, one of the decks girls. Odds. We've actually never been on a wild night. I know. Too. I don't really get wild on a night out anymore, to be honest with you. I know you do. Yeah, I do. Not like I used to. I used to get wild. No, can we talk about Fred again? Sorry. Can we not talk oh, about no, what you've just that done here? Bad. That was bad. That was really problematic. Am I going to run people over? Yes, over probably. God, this is so embarrassing. God, I'm embarrassed to be with you. Sorry. Lots so of love. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love. And what were you saying, sorry? Fred again. Do you know about Fred again? No. You don't know about Fred again? It's a sort of band. He's a DJ. He makes that song. Hear that rumble! Da -da 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 -da. Of course. Yeah, and th are you joking? Yeah. And then, is it green? Why are you beeping at me? No, it's, it's Fred. Green. Stop beeping! No, it's them, it's them, it's him. It's the community bus. Community ones Well, that's community not very community for. of you, is it? <laughs> Hear that rumble! You know that song? I do know a few DJs. Let me name some for you. Fatboy Slim, Honey Dijon, Peggy Goo. Good. Um, ooh. Come on, Calvin. Calvin Harris, Skrillex. Yeah. Is he a DJ? Yeah, Skrillex is Fred again's best mate. Good. See, I'm in the crowd. Yeah, so you're gonna be, are you going to be behind the decks with me? Yeah, I'm going to be dancing like I'm going to be a shot girl. Shot girl, very good. Yeah. yeah, good. But then you're also going to have to like get on the stories and. Yeah, you know, fine. I can yeah, do it all. Yeah, you can do it all. I know. My boyfriend can't turn on Instagram. My boyfriend doesn't know how to look at his. Requests. I will have. I will have sent him messages. Me too. Him, I, Me honestly, too. Six months later, he'll Me reply too. and go, "Love the look of this." <laughs> what, granddad? Or I've sent him a meme that was relevant nine months ago. Yes, he's and just then, found yeah. it funny, and I'm like, yeah. "It's just not funny. It's not funny anymore." And it was awful. People always ask me, don't you worry about pe people DMing him? I'm like, honestly, even if people were sending him- He doesn't him know where his DMs are. Our long naked videos, he, no. wouldn't, he wouldn't know Agreed. how to look at it. I said the other day, I was like, oh, um, there's this like trend going around where you look at each other's like for you pages. 
And honestly, his for you page, he was like, what's a for you page? And, like, <laughs> and I was like, oh God, okay. And then also when I looked on it, it was honestly like concreting. He watches a lot of concreting You're videos. You're lying. Bikes. And oh, one girl always comes up for him, but she does um, science made easy. <laughs> she takes like big science equations and like digests them for the normal viewer. That is so And I just funny. think, wow, babe, that's confidence if I've never that felt it before. That is so concreting. Concreting, loves it. But so I think it's very hysterical. relaxing to watch. I think it's hysterical that our boy, like, considering the, this is what we do, we sit in front of a camera and chat bang. Yeah. That that's the kind of people that we, I think it's very But funny. I think it has to be that way. Like, imagine if they were constantly trying to get involved. Can you imagine going out with an Instagram boy? I cannot think of... Sorry, Imagine no, if you were you. both gym influencers. That's what I've been thinking about a lot recently. Like, you'd be constantly like, oh, babe, I do just want to share a bag. Will you leave yeah, me alone? Yeah, yeah. Will you stop chucking my macros? Yeah, yeah. Oh, babe, I can't row that today. Yeah. Oh, because it's always borderline competitive. <sighs> but I think that about anything. Like, if you're in the same industry, you have to be a particular I type agree, of person I not agree. to be, like... Not jealous, but like too competitive. But I don't know that many people. Okay, apart from doctors, sorry, I know that's a stereotype, but that is the stereotype doctors for doctors. a reason. Yeah. But I guess because you have to put up with the hours and. And also because lots of them meet at uni because they're yeah. at uni for like fifteen years. Sure. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. But other yeah. than that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I don't think that in general people date people in, in the same profession as them. I think it's nice to have a bit of like variety, but then I kind of, it's that horrible thing, isn't it? Of like, do you share all your interests or do you keep your interests to yourself? Do you understand each other's sectors or do you learn from them? Like right. there's so many right, different listen, listen. variables. Paul, you know who Paul is? Paul from Married at First Sight. Yeah, I love how you got that straight off the bat. Paul. He's a legend, yeah. I love him. Oh, obsessed. Oh. Ugh. Oh, he is sexy AF. Yeah. Gosh, I'd be his he, wife. Me too. Have you seen them as no. well? Mm, gorgeous. They're having a lovely life. Um, are they? Well, mm. of course they are. Look at him. Also, did you know that Keely Hawes is married to Matthew McFadden? Yes! Oh, They're but... my favourite! I, I didn't know that and it's really boring. Are you watching me. Succession? Yeah, ops. Ops, ops. Did not know that they were married. Yeah, I did. They're like TV it's for it, Forever. Well, yeah, that's generally what marriage means. No, as in they've been together for a long time, like pre him being like big on succession. Listen, Matthew McFadden is not an A-lister, right? But now he might be. No, he's not. You know what I'm saying? A-listers are like J-Lo. J-Lo's not an actor. And if you're going to say me, tell me Made in Manhattan makes you an A-lister, then okay, you can come A-listers are like Salma Hayek or like A... I'm talking about A-listers. Judy Dent. Like, like yeah, okay, yeah, 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 fine. Yeah. Okay, if you want to talk about TV A-listers, now probably Matthew McFadden's there. Well, I guess it's hard, isn't it? Because there's a difference between being like an A-lister because you've done a whole body of work and an A-lister because you're in a really clouty series. Like, Succession just has yeah, exactly. loads of hype. Exactly. Yeah, okay, got it. And, but this is the thing to eat like Matthew McFadden is the, at the top of his game in terms mm. of acting I don't think he's ever going to get much bigger I think he's at his peak I mean it's a great peak to be at but even to get there how Long old time. is he yeah yeah what are his credits saying I mean he's just so good in succession maybe you just need to wait for the perfect role and then you just fly yeah he's just so good oh my god take it back he was Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice you he always did it and I saw you stop yourself well done he was <laughs> That's huge! Sorry, I missed all of that information. He was um, Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice with Keira Knightley. He's epic in that way. He wears the white shirt and yeah. it's raining and oh. I wouldn't have picked him to play Mr. sexy. Darcy he was an Anna Karenina. This is a good like thing for anyone who's kind of not yet achieving their goals. It takes time. God doesn't. It just adjust. takes time. Just relax. And you've got to actually get comfortable with the time. You can't expect things to happen And you overnight. can't compare yourself to other people. There is genuinely no such thing as overnight success. And no. I really, I think people have this warped idea that some people just get famous in an instant. Yeah, it you're right. Happen. No, it doesn't. And even if it does, in a sense, every step you've taken thus far has Precisely. led you to that. Patience and persistence. Yeah. That's it. And consistency. Oh, and consistency. consistency. Can we talk about Sophia Ritchie's wedding? <sighs> oh, also, sorry. I didn't sorry know no. Nicole Ritchie was adopted. She was adopt he your adopted mouth. her. He was shut your mouth. She's the daughter of one of his musicians in the band, in Lionel Richie's band. And him and his wife at the time adopted her. So his, his wife, that's what I thought they so, always just had different mothers. No, no, no. But she looks so much like him, I so, think. So she looks Nic like his daughter. Nicole Richie is actually not related to either of those biology. No. 
I so Sophia Ritchie and her brother are the second wife's children. And Lionel Richie's first wife, childhood sweetheart Hart, and Lionel Richie adopted Nicole Richie, and wow. she was the daughter of like his bassist or something. I don't know what happened and why she needed to be adopted. Whoa! I know what a life to be adopted into. And jackpot there. Okay, you know, any person in the world, who would, would Jolie? Uh, who you would know. you be adopted by? Any person in the whole world. I could be the Beckham's kids. You Beckham. do love footing. I could do the whole, that. I could do it. I could do that whole, Harper Beckham's got quite sweet set up. She's never gonna have to work a day in her life. She's got three brothers. I would love to have three brothers. And her parents are David and Victoria Beckham. So I think you'd be adopted into the Beckham's. I think I'd have wanted to have been adopted into oh, the Osborne's. Gonna, I, thought, I thought you were gonna say Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Oh my god, no, imagine them necking on every day. You'd be like, guys, stop. Isn't it too much? No, I'd want to be with Sharon and Ozzy back in the day Big when day. they did the Osborne, oh, the program. Babe, if you go back and watch that, Ozzy Osbourne is honestly un like unhinged. <laughs> he is unhinged. It's and hilarious. It's Get me in that, that family. That used to be like normal TV. I know. And now you can't do that like, anymore. I know. You can't even swear on like a YouTube channel. Like even Geordie Shaw. <laughs> so boring. Babe, can I just say I'm so proud of what good form you've been on this morning. Can I say thank you? Are you going to go back to bed? I absolutely not. I woke up in a foul. No, you've really turned it around. Turned around. That's because of you. And your feather boa. I just wanted to tell you quickly mm. that um, to get a hair trap... I just licked my lips again. It's too much. And also, can I just say we've gone about 40 minutes without saying any swear words, which is actually quite epic for us. Come on! Little tally of this, this trip. I you tell to, me your story. I or... want to tell you that um, Roy's friend gets drops and oils and creams from the Belgravia Hair Clinic for balding. Guess how much a year? Okay, I'm going to say 600 quid. 1,500 pounds. And I'm like, just get on a plate. It would cost- Get to Turkey. Right. Have a holiday. What are you doing? And also every night you've got to do the oils and the creams, it's like a whole routine. I do feel sorry for the Rasidi hairlines because it's not actually a look, is it? You do actually have quite a large- Forehead. Yeah. I do, yeah. I've only really just noticed that. I've just got big everything on my face. Listen, like my features are so big. Like everything's big. My forehead's big. Yeah, your eyes are my big. My nose is quite I prominent. No, my no, eyes are big. You don't have a honker. Can you imagine if you no, have a No, but it's quite a funny shape. Yeah. Me too, but you can get that fixed with an injection. I don't want an injection. I don't have decided. I know what's going to happen as well. In 30 years, I'm going to be face full and she's going to be au natural and it's going to be like so annoying because she's going to be like, look how natural and beautiful I am. That will be you. It's going to um, be annoying. Four pounds. Right, what are we gonna spend this money on? Well, we're gonna wait and see how much we get. It will be about 100 quid, I bet you. Also, because this episode, we've been talking about it, so it's been on our minds, Next whereas when we just get in, we'll just where do you want it, in the snack? In the snack, get the, get the pasta in the snack box. Snack box. Okay. Right, babe, listen, what are you gonna do today? I'm gonna, I'm gonna skive work. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be ill. Too. I'm gonna be ill, I'm gonna go and do no, a cool I down. Meant, I meant I'm mentally, what are you gonna oh, do? Oh, to prepare myself, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get on the bike and I'm just gonna do it. Your nails are gonna really gonna be my best me. self. I know, they're so sad, aren't they? No, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get out of your own way. You're gonna get out of your gonna head. You're gonna get out of my own way. You've gotta get out of your head and into your body and just let your body do yeah. the talking. Do you want one more affirmation before I go? Sure. Failure is just one step on the way to success. Okay. If someone told you that you had 59 no's until you got your yes, how would you react to the no's? You'd be excited. You'd be counting them down. You'd be going, where can I get my next no? Where can I get my next rejection? Because you'd be trying to get to the 60th so you could have a yes. And that's how you've got to look at the failures. I completely agree. You don't know your number, so it's hard, but you have to believe your number exists. Might be a thousand, might be two, but you've got to keep going. We've just got to keep ploughing on. Ploughing on, guys. I'm just going to check our um, TikTok hate. The daughters of Pretty Patel and Matt Hancock going for a hot chocolate. I mean, that is just an iconic Please, comment. can you put a picture of Pretty Patel and Matt Hancock here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking okay. mean. We were doing... Doesn't count. Yes, I'm of course it counts. <laughs> Idiot. I was off to you 450. Too. That could have bought us a cupcake or something. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Babe, have a good babe, day. Babe, thank you so much. Love you. Bye, love you. Bye. Bye.